Good morning children. Let's continue with part 2 of our chapter 11, Indian Judiciary. Today we will be discussing one topic that is the power and jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Let's start today's topic. Please come to page number 87 of our textbook. The big heading that is the power and jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court of India possesses more powers and has vast jurisdiction in comparison to any other country of the world. Supreme Court is having uh, vast powers, lots of powers compared to the other countries. Our Supreme Court, Indian Supreme Court is having lots of powers and this jurisdiction can be divided into three that is original jurisdiction, appellate jurisdiction and advisory jurisdiction. We will discuss this in detail in the coming section. This picture you will be able to see the Supreme Court of India. It is situated at New Delhi. The jurisdiction of Supreme Court is my first Ayaga original jurisdiction. What do you mean by original jurisdiction? Please underline the power held by the Supreme Court to hear a matter brought to it directly without first taking that matter in any other lower court is called the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Normally, the procedure of a Supreme Court, the uh, case comes to the Supreme Court normally from lower courts. First, the court will discuss, uh, the lower court will discuss the concerned case in the lower court, that is district courts, okay. And uh, if that is not working properly or you are not satisfied with that, you can go to the high court and from there also the same result, then you can approach the Supreme Court. So, the power held by the Supreme Court to hear a matter brought to it directly without first taking that matter in any other lower court it is called original jurisdiction without going into the lower courts directly it is coming that is called the original jurisdiction okay under this supreme court has following authorities that is we are having some different uh, supreme court is having around five authorities that we are going to discuss first one to hear cases between the government of india and one or more states if a state, one state or many states are having problem, any case between the central government, that case will be coming under directly to the Supreme Court. Second one, to hear and resolve differences of opinions, fights or conflicts between the government of India and between the states. Wo state, usme jo maine likha hai with one or more states on the other sides and one or more other states. See, it between, up simply aisa deko, central government ke saath, ek state ke saath problem hai, ya do states ke saath problem hai, do nom states ke aapas mein problem hai, ye bohut sara issues, ye sab kis ke under mein aayega? Supreme Court ka original jurisdiction ke under aayega. Third point, to hear and provide judgment regarding dispute between different states. If a case is between Gujarat and um, Rajasthan or Gujarat and Maharashtra or Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, any states, that case will directly coming to original jurisdiction of Supreme Court. Fourth point, to hear cases related to the central government and matters related to the constitution, constitutionality that is between the constitution and the government. Fifth point, the Supreme Court also has the power to protect and preserve the fundamental rights of the citizens of India. It is also empowered to issue writs. What do you mean by writs means orders, Ish, uh, writs like habeas corpus writ, mandamus writ and prohibition writ. Now, what do you mean by Ma habeas corpus writ. Habeas corpus, apko, we have studied about habeas corpus that is uh, bring the body here that is only the power that is the only power of the high court and uh, this is also uh, this power is also going to supreme court. Then another one is mandamus writ. What do you mean by mandamus court? This is the order from supreme court. It is a command issued by a court asking a public authority to perform a public duty uh, 
belonging to its office it is issued against a public authority who is under a legal duty to do this or not to do something in the platform okay so this um, this is called a mandamus an order of prohibition now there is an exception for the uh, original jurisdiction uh, which will not come under the original jurisdiction of supreme court that is you should study note this point underline this it is not in the jurisdiction of the supreme court to settle disputes related to the distribution of river waters between state to state states to state state to states or states to states ab itna dekhna hai कोई भी स्टेट के बीच में वाटर रिलेटेड कुछ इश्यू है रिवर वाटर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रिवर वाटर दैट टाइप ऑफ इश्यूज विल नॉट कम अंडर द ओरिजिनल जूरिस्टिक्शन ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट दिस विल बी अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ ए सेपरेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड वाटर ट्राइब्यूनल दे विल सॉल्व द इश्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल नर्मदा वाटर नर्मदा रिजर्वायर में और नर्मदा रिवर का पानी कितना गुजरात को देना है कितना महाराष्ट्र को देना है कितना राजस्थान को देना है मध्य प्रदेश को कितना देना है इसके बारे में ये चारों स्टेट्स के बीच में कुछ झगड़ा चल रहा है तो ये ओरिजिनल जूरिस्टिक्शन ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट में नहीं जाएगा बिकॉज ये स्टेट्स के बीच में बीच का प्रॉब्लम है वहाँ नहीं जाएगा फिर किधर जाएगा वो जाएगा वाटर ट्राइब्यूनल ओके सो दिस विल डायरेक्टली गो टू द वाटर ट्राइब्यूनल एंड दे विल सॉल्व द इश्यू सो एंड वॉट एवर डिसीशन द वाटर ट्राइब्यूनल इज गिविंग दैट दे पीपल ऑल द स्टेट्स हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट इट इट इज अंडर कंट्रोल ऑफ द वाटर ट्राइब्यूनल एंड द जजमेंट गिवन बाय द वाटर ट्राइब्यूनल विल बी हैव टू बी रिस्पेक्टेड बाई ऑल बिकॉज सुप्रीम कोर्ट के लिए वाटर ट्राइब्यूनल कर रहे तो वी हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट इट ओके डन द सेक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो हियर आई टोल्ड यू द डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन स्टेट टू स्टेट दैट इज गुजरात एंड मध्य प्रदेश तो स्टेट टू स्टेट दो स्टेट के बीच में अदर वन स्टेट्स टू स्टेट्स दैट इज महाराष्ट्र मध्य प्रदेश राजस्थान गुजरात के साथ झगड़ा कर रहे तो भी आएगा फिर स्टेट टू स्टेट्स गुजरात दूसरा तीन स्टेट के साथ झगड़ा चल रहे और स्टेट्स टू स्टेट्स मध्य प्रदेश और राजस्थान एक साइड पे गुजरात और महाराष्ट्र दूसरा साइड पे तो दो स्टेट्स सो वॉट एवर इश्यूज कमिंग बिटवीन इन बिटवीन स्टेट्स दैट रिलेटेड टू वाटर रिवर डिस्प्यूट वाटर डिस्प्यूट रिवर वाटर डिस्प्यूट्स के ऊपर कोई भी प्रॉब्लम चलता है तो वो डिस्प्यूट किधर आएगा इट विल कम अंडर द वाटर ट्राइब्यूनल सेकेंड वन अपल जूरिस्टिक्शन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट द पावर ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट टू हियर ए मैटर इन विच decision is already been passed by a lower court but an appeal has been made to the supreme court to rule out or revise the decision it is called appellate jurisdiction of the supreme court pehle humne bola directly aayega supreme court mein abhi main bol rahe niche lower court mein jo decision liya wo decision overrule karne ke liye supreme court ke paas aa rahe us wo aayega appellate jurisdiction of supreme court under this a person can approach the supreme court against the judgment or writ given by the high court normally lower court mein se aayega high court mein high court mein se aayega supreme court mein so this procedure this is having the right to overtake the decision taken by the high court e appellate jurisdiction mein three differences are there three different Uh, cases options are there that is what we are going to discuss here first one is cases of constitutional interpretation for this the person needs to have a certificate issued by the high court along with the judgment given by the high court the certificate contains details stating that the case either involves matter related to the false interpretation of the constitution 
or an important question related to law and hence the petitioner is allowed to appeal in the Supreme Court. In case if the High Court has not given the certificate even then the petitioner can appeal in the Supreme Court provided the Supreme Court finds that a constitutional rights is violated. Now listen, person ko high court mein se supreme court mein jane ke liye ek certificate chahiye. Ye certificate aisa state karna hai ki ye person ko achhi tarah rule aur uh, uh, eh, kya bolta hai, In, uh, they have to, this person is not satisfied or he is not getting the clear, uh, clear rule. Or if there is no certificate also, he is having the right to approach the Supreme Court. So, aap itna sochna hai. If you are not getting exact judgment from the High Court, then you can approach the appellate jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Bas, that's all. Appellate jurisdiction of Supreme Court, my second case the option here that is appeal against civil cases. The petitioner can appeal in the Supreme Court if the High Court certifies that the case involves important matter related to the interpretation of the law and that the case is important and it is necessary that the Supreme Court decides upon the matter. Judgment given by the lower court in case involving a sum of rupees 1 lakh or more can be challenged in the Supreme Court. This third one, appeal against criminal cases. In case of a criminal case, if a person is proved innocent in the lower court and not given any capital punishment, but is held guilty in the high court and is charged with a capital punishment, then in such a case, a person can appeal in the Supreme Court. Now comes advisory jurisdiction, the third uh, uh, power of the appellate, uh, the third type of appeal of the appellate jurisdiction, that is advisory jurisdiction. When a lower court or a constitutional body sit uh, advised from the Supreme Court in a matter of law and the Supreme Court advises then it is called the advisory jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. If the president feels that the particular matter is important, with respect to public welfare, then the president can send it to the Supreme Court for the advice. See, a lower court to make decision liya, wo public ke liye itna benefit nahi hai. Wo second time uh, consider karne ke liye bolsa, that is the duty of the president to tell the advisory jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. The president may send matters related to law, truth, interpretation of the constitution and considering the relevance of the bill. A sub matters may president ko bol sakta hai ki whether they have to check it or not. If the Supreme Court does not find the case, send it to it proper. It can send it back to the president without giving its op opinion. Moreover, the president is not bound to follow the advice given by the Supreme Court. Other than this, other powers are also there for the Supreme Court has to see. The Supreme Court has the power to review its own judgment or decision. Khud ka decision or ek bar check kar sakta hai. Kuch problem hai. The Supreme Court can punish for contempt of court. Supreme Court has the power to nullify any steps. Law taken by the executive. Hamare executives. Jo bhi rules banaya. Wo violate kar rahe. So, wo nullify karne ke, cancel karne ka power bhi Supreme Court ke paas hai. And the right has been given to the President of India in the Constitution under the provision of the rights to constitutional remedies. Deko, that is why humne pehle bola da, the soul of the Constitution. That is why, uh, 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 that is why uh, the rights of constitutional remedies is known as the soul of the constitution supreme court that is why supreme court is considered as the guardian and savior of the constitution and citizen so citizens ke liye constitution ka against kuch na kuch problem ho rahe by our executive then or through any rules given pehle jo rules banaya usse ya executives ke through hamara constitution ka against kuch chal rahe hamara citizens ke against kuch chal rahe citizens ka kharab tarik se kuch affect ho rahe in such a situation, the uh, President of India can interfere into the matter. The Supreme Court can interfere into the matter. And this, that is why Supreme Court is known as the guardian and savior of the constitution and the citizen. So, 
this you can expect for a give reason huh? you have to write moving to the last topic of today's section court of records supreme court is also known as the court of records huh? whatever cases it is coming that we will be keeping a record and that is why supreme court is called the court of records any decision proceedings interpretations everything we are keeping as a record and that is why supreme court is known as the court of records same you will see in high court also high court is also known as the court of records okay so with this we come to the end of today's discussion i am not giving any notes as you know notes are uh, notebooks you have submitted so all the no we will discuss this after in a separate clip i will be giving all the notes so don't worry read the textbook thoroughly two or three times understand the topics very nicely after that we will see you in the next class till then stay safe bye take care